you want some discount on games, use the code PESEP. Link is in the description. Alrighty guys, PES 2017 Data Pack 1 is available now. They've updated some player faces, added stadiums, added some uh, chance for Liverpool, um, and also Anfield Stadium and Borussia Dortmund Stadium. As you can see, this is a list of uh, players. I will show you the list of all the 34 players that their face has been updated on my club menu. So yeah, boots, kits, and um, you know, <laughs> personally, I'm, I mean, I I'm cool with that. The players look fine. But as you can see on the notification, on my club also you get double experience points which you can level up your player faster and etc we're gonna take a quick look at the stadium and the new kids being updated this is just an example uh, i think other teams their kids being updated as well so at the end of this video i will i want to talk about what i was expecting to be improved i mean i personally as an online gamer what matters to me is the gameplay and online servers and recently i mean i love PS 2017 but honestly, guys, you can see this is the new um, stadiums. I love PS 2017, but honestly, guys, the, the bad online servers pushed me to play FIFA. So don't be surprised if I start uploading FIFA once a week. Yeah, that's right. If you support me, you should uh, you should be okay with that. Anyway, so at the end of this video, I have a list of things that needs to be improved. I mean, this is a video talking about the data pack. Yes, it, it is all exciting. You know, we've got some new stadiums. Or uh, player faces that it, it I mean me personally uh, it doesn't bother me that much player faces and there are more important things to be up to be updated than look into it and uh, please guys I mean if you are raging regarding lag cheaters if you are raging regarding the bad online servers please do not take out of this video you know like and dislike based on the content and information I'm giving you uh, because recently there's a lot of people who are angry uh, about PS2 down 17 and just take it out of my fucking video get like fun of unreasonable dislikes I don't mind dislikes I don't mind constructive um, negativity either so as you can see the my club agents we have the summer sign in which is uh, and we also have the new player faces there are only 34 players and there's only one uh, black ball into it now personally again we're just gonna I, I think if you have saved up GP or coins I would suggest you wait for Champion League agents, especially if you started my club. I mean, which one of these players that you really want? I mean, uh, I personally don't really care about player faces. Anyway, um, getting to the point in that there are things that I would like to be improved. First thing, better online servers. PES Productions released an amazing game, PES 2017. Offline, it's beautiful, but when it comes to online, it seems like every year we have to have something to kind of let us down. And this year was the online servers. Last year was the rosters, etc. So I really hope it gets better. I mean, right now, don't get me wrong, the online servers for me personally, my personal experience, uh, online servers are much better than a couple of weeks ago. But there's always button delay, especially when you get those special match on my club is 100% lag. And the second thing that I want to talk about, guys, lag cheating honestly guys this has been going on since PES 2010 when i was at konami hq we spoke about it they said they are in contact with the japan hq to sort this out i mean yes you can report lag cheaters and if and if, uh, if someone on ps4 or xbox one or whatever gets about 10 reports they will probably remove them so guys please 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 always report lag cheaters i have a video i made uh, regarding lag cheater there's a link in the description how to report them there's an email as well second thing i wanted to be improved my club the gp system it's a struggle guys especially when we have an auction house even if you win all your matches the gp payout per match it does not add up for you to save a little bit for auction house and pay your contract so for that reason we farm gp we spend hours and hours playing against the computer just score a goal let the time run out to get gp which is a pain i mean most people farm gp than actually play in the game manager my club tactics need an update now as you can see in this photo this is uh current PS 2017 psg manager this is just an example there's a lot of managers as it's not been updated tactically now, as you can see, PSG manager right now is MRA and on PS2017 was Lodi and Blanc. Now, as you can see, they've changed, obviously, the name of the manager 
and you know the manager personally but the tactics are exactly the same now you're probably thinking oh dude it doesn't matter well it, it kind of does matter because my club or my club tactics really matter so i hope they will do that i would do it for free konami honestly i would do it for free work from home whatever you need i i i um i observe managers a lot especially those managers who are good on my club, I actually watch their real life matches and their tactics. You know, I have a lot of information. So anyway, now the other thing I want to talk about is nerf this FIFA 14 style overpowered cross and header gameplay. Now you're probably thinking, oh, Seb is easy. Just, uh, you know, do uh, do super cancel, position yourself to defend headers. Yes, but when you play against someone who does a cross in for 90 minutes and he can beat you, he can beat you with that. It's like it's out of your control. It's just so overpowered. So I really hope they nerf that down a little bit. Headers and crosses was never ever overpowered in PES in my past 10 years of online experience. This whole header and cross and overpower started from PES 2016. Maybe Konami took some suggestion from FIFA guys. I don't know. Okay. Dribbling and ball control. Real touch. I'm not feeling it. You know? Now, saying that, the game is a little bit more responsive, and overall, the gameplay seems to be a little bit faster for those of you, you know, who play online like me. The first match I play online, I instantly felt how faster the game was. Where I'm talking my club here, and I'm pretty sure online divisions is going to be a little bit slower, because my club is always faster gameplay than normal one. And um, dribbling with your left stick is very, very fast right now. Um, sorry about that. Uh, fake shots is very very responsive. I mean the CPU pressure is a little bit weaker So what I mentioned before regarding the real touch etc could be improved more because before Before when you try to execute a skill when you try to dribble the AI pressure is so overpowered They always seem to get you you could not pull off a skill So n now what I feel is the AI the CPU is a little bit weaker Which you can actually improve your dribbling you can wrong for the player you can you can um, You can basically uh, pull off some skills as well. So um, when it comes to this point in real touch I guess this one is this wish is being done um, 80% so yeah all good Anyway, now, minor stuff doesn't matter, you know, I don't think there's a mention, mention of a point. And these are things that I hope for Data Pack 2 will be improved. And the only thing I want, again, I love PES 2017 offline. Online, please, PES production, get the servers going for smoother online experience. And for the love of Jeebus, punish those lag cheaters. There could be many things could be done. If somebody... Add a system in the game, like punish them, ban them for a week, scare them, remove them from the ranking, because that's what they do, lag cheaters. They all they care, it's all oh, look, I am top five. Look at my win ratio. I have four thousand wins and zero losses. Honestly, there are some crazy win ratios. That's why I don't care when people ask me, What's your win ratio? It's like, dude, it doesn't matter. If you're gonna compare these guys who has like 98% win ratio with lag cheating, then it doesn't matter to me. I know my abilities. I know how good and bad I am. I play different on YouTube while I'm streaming, etc. But anyway, guys, hope you, hope you enjoyed the video. I know this has been a long video with a Data Pack 1 showcase with a little bit of a rant. But yeah, I am angry. I love PS2017. And every time I am winning a match, I am shitting myself. Oh, dear Lord. Is he going to lag cheat me? Anyway, guys, I've been Seb. Until next time. Ciao for now.